let's talk Otani. Uh, the hype is huge, calling him the, uh, the, the second coming to Babe Ruth, and the hype might get so large that we might find out that Babe Ruth was the American Otani. So <laughs> how much of this hype should we believe, Tom? Uh, a lot of it. You know, the baseball people I've talked to, and this is now just going back even before he was available here as a free agent, last year or two, I've been told that he could be an all-star pitcher, he could be an all-star hitter. Now, can he do both at the same time at that level? I think that's where the uh, the, the question is. I think he'll be an impact pitcher right away. I mean, he throws, he tops out at 102 miles an hour. Mm. I compare his stuff to Jacob DeGrom, except he's got a nasty split-fingered fastball. As a hitter, it to me it reminds me of Cody Bellinger. And I just don't know that you can beat Cody Bellinger when you're also pitching and you're DHing three times a week. It's going to be very difficult for him. I think he'll hit home runs, and I think he'll be dominant right away on the mound. But I think in time, I don't see him sticking with this. I mean, even Babe Ruth had to give it up. He said it was too much to do both. Well, maybe he just w- wouldn't drink every single other minute. <laughs> well, that would have helped. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. This guy, but yeah, that would help. Yeah, and he doesn't have to take trains, you know, to, on road trips <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> so, do he, so the Angels just added someone with the stuff of Degrom and the bat of Cody Bellinger in one person, Tom. Yeah, it's fascinating. Oh. It really is. We have not, literally, we haven't seen it since Ruth. Anybody who actually started 15 games on the mound and started anywhere else in the lineup for 15 games, it's it's freakish. The combination of skills that this guy has. And the teams that I talked to, I talked to most of the teams of the seven teams in the in the final there, but most of all of them said they don't discount him doing this because he just seems so laser focused. Baseball is everything to this guy. He's certainly not about the big markets or the endorsements. He gave up essentially two hundred million dollars by coming here now rather than two years from now. So they think he has the skills to do it, the mindset to do it. I just think Physically, Rich, it's just gonna. It, it's tough. You know, the baseball here is different. The mound is different. It's a much harder, firmer mound. They have softer mounds over there. Recovery here, the travel here, everything is more stressful. Uh, I want to see him do it. I think it's a great thing. The Angels now have two of the most exciting players in baseball mm-hmm. in Otani and Trout. They're a must-watch, as are the Yankees, of course. I hope he's able to succeed at doing it. Uh, I just think over time it's going to be very tough physically. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.